Yes, today our next chapter is patterns. So, in the previous classes also we discussed about patterns. So, patterns in number systems and pattern about so in the images when the images are given then how the patterns are. So, how the patterns are that we discuss and also in the number system the patterns. So, how the patterns in alphabets also. So, we discuss patterns. So, first we observe what pattern is given. So, and after that we decide what to do next one. Either they are in particular pattern. So, the given the given numerals or the given images are in particular patterns or not that we decide and so we should say next which should come. So, if number system is given according to the number the number which number will come. So, if the images are given or if the objects are given then which object will come according to the pattern. So, that we should first check and decide and after that so we should do which should come after the given number or given image ok. Students see here so in the patterns the first in warm up time some patterns are given some images are given. So, which pattern matches which pattern matches so we, de we decide and so, so mark a tick mark so in the right left side one circle is given there you keep a tick mark if they are in particular pattern then make a tick mark so ok. Now, so in the first one what is given see so the images bottle is given pot is given bottle pot one bottle is given one pot is given bottle pot bottle pot they are alternately they are coming. So, so they are in the sequence they are in the same sequence they are in the same sequence. So, the first one is in pattern ok. The next one so the next one so some images are given in the next also one ball is given then uh, after that one ball one aeroplane the second one the ball so aeroplane and after that bulb is given again ball aeroplane bulb ball aeroplane bulb ball aeroplane and bulb so they are in the sequence 3 3 3 3 images were given so, how the three images the, the three images are in sequence. So, that is in the pattern that is in pattern. So, the second one is also in the pattern the third one. So, here the capsicum is given first and after that two water containers given capsicum two water containers and again these are in the sequence these are in the sequence all are in the sequence given see here. So, capsicum is given then after that two water containers. So, then capsicum then two water containers capsicum and two water containers. So, all are in the sequence. So, this one is also correct this one is also correct. Then after that in the fourth one just you first so see and understand either the given are in the patterns or not. So, the first second one two chairs and two sofa two chairs and two sofa sets were given two chairs and two sofas were given. So, here see first two chairs given then after that two sofas given and after that two chairs then two sofas then after that at last one chair is given only one chair is there. So, it is not in the pattern. So, there should be two at least two chairs should be there if they are in the pattern ok. The last one is not in the pattern why because only one chair is there in the last. So, that is not in the pattern ok. Now, the students next in learning time is a common number pattern common number pattern. So, what is common number pattern then how to decide so which number will come in the according to the sequence. So, here the sequence is called arithmetic sequence arithmetic sequence in the arithmetic sequence. So, the same means the common number if we add common number so then we are getting the next number. So, what is the common number that we are adding to get the another number that we should check either we should add subtract multiply. So, these are so if addition is there then that is the arithmetic sequence. So, how much we are adding to get the next one. So, that is comes under arithmetic sequence here for example, here two sequences we are taking. So, here 1 4 7 10 13 16 19 22 and 25 so on. So, these are the sequences given. So, how this in this sequences in the sequences whatever sequences here given. So, how you are getting the next term if we add 3 to this one then you are getting 4 how. So, 1 add 3 
2, 3, 4. If you add 1 plus 3, then you'll get 4. So again, if you add 4 plus 3, then you'll get 3. If you add again plus 3 to this 7, then you'll get 10. If you add plus 3 to this 10, then you'll get 13. If you add plus 3 to this 16, then you'll get 16. If you add again plus 3 to this 16, you're getting 19. Again, if you add plus 3 to this 19, then you'll get 22. So again, if you add plus 3 to this 22, then you'll get 25. Here the same number, same number we are adding. So that we are getting the next term. So this type of series comes in the arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences. See here in the number system. So if you draw a number system like this. So this is our number system. So suppose here we have a 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So now write your numbers here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. These are the numbers. Now, see here, according to our sequence, according to our series, the first one is 1. So, now 1, then after that 4. So, 1, 2, 4. Then 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4. It means if you add so 3 to the 1, then you will get 4 okay again if you add 3 to this 4 you will get 7 so now here if you add plus 3 to 4 then you will get next term that is 7 again if you add 3 to 7 then you will get 10 again if you add 3 to this 10 you will get 13 again if you add 3 to this 13 you will get 16 Again for this 16, if you add 3, 17, 18, 19, you will get 19. Again for this 9, again if you add plus 3, 20, 21, 22, you will get 22. Again for this 22, so again if you add plus 3, 23, 24, 25, you will get 25. So, so on, this sequence will continue, so on. So, what is the sequence here? Here the sequence, here the sequence is plus 3. If we add plus 3 to the so term, then you will get next consecutive term, next consecutive term. It means the difference between the two consecutive terms, same, that is 3, that is 3, okay. So, this type of series is called arithmetic sequences, arithmetic sequences, okay. So, here whatever the difference is there between the two consecutive terms, that is called common difference common difference between the two consecutive terms same. So, this type of series are arithmetic sequences. Okay? Now, the next example, in the next example, see here, the series arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33 and 38. This is our sequence. Now, you check. So, what is the difference between the consecutive terms? Between the consecutive terms 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 means, so from 3, so to 8, first you count how many numbers there, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it is 5. It means, if you add plus 5 to this 3, then you will get 8, then you will get 8. In the same way, so the next 8 is there, again, so see how much we should add to get 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Again, if you add plus 5 to this 8, then you will get 13. So, again for this 13, so again you, you should check. So, how much to add to this 13 to get 18? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Again 5. Again for this 18, so now you check how much to add for this 18 to get 23. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Again 5. Again for this 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
So again for this 28, once you check how much to add to get 33. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. For this 33, so 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So it means for every consecutive numbers, if you add plus 5 to the previous one, then you will get the next number. Okay. So it means the common difference between the two consecutive terms same. So these type of series are arithmetic sequences, arithmetic sequences. This is the pattern there in this sequence. First, we should find what is the pattern there in the given sequence. According to that, so first notify that pattern and whatever the terms will come after that, that we should write. Okay. Now, so here first one is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now, so first, so where, where should we start? Hmm? From 3, so where is 3 here? Locate your point at 3, then after that add 5 to this 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So then, so, this is 8. If you add plus 5 to this 3, then you will get 8. Again, for this 8, add 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you will get 13. So, from 8 to 13, again from 13, add again 5, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, where you will get 18. From 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23, okay, 23, then after that 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So, if you add 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, then you will get the so sequence means consecutive term sequence you will get, then 28. Again, if you add plus 5, then you will get 33, 33, then 33 plus 5, 38, this is the sequence. So, when the, how the sequence will come? If you add plus 5, plus 5, plus 5 to the previous term, then you will get the very next consecutive term you will get. So, what is the sequence here? What is the sequence? What is there in the sequence? What is there in the pattern? In the pattern, if you add plus 5, then you will get the next term. So, in the first one, what is the sequence? According to the sequence, how the terms will come? If you add plus 3, so then you will get the next term. So, this is pattern there in the first one. And the second one, if we add plus 5, then you will get the next term. So, these various patterns are given. So, these various patterns comes under arithmetic patterns. Why these are arithmetic patterns? We are adding to get the next term. So, that is why these are called arithmetic patterns. Arithmetic patterns. Okay. Now, in the next third example, so here what is the sequence given here? So, 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, 20, 243. This sequence is given. Here, so if just we add, so then we are getting the next consecutive term. So here no addition, nothing. By seeing only we can see. So by adding we won't get same. By adding the same numeral, we won't get the next one. Why? The difference between the consecutive terms more. Here, one and three difference is two, and three and dif nine difference is six, and nine and twenty-seven difference is that means fifteen, sixteen, not sixteen, eighteen. So the difference between the consecutive terms not same. So, here addition, addition, addition concept not work out here. So, then what concept is there here? First, we should think and say. See here, 1, 1, 3 za 3, 3, 3 za 9, 9, 3 za 27, 27, 3 za 81, 81, 3 za 243. So, here if we multiply with 3, multiply multiply with 3, 
then you'll get the consecutive term then you'll get the consecutive term see here so first in the number system so note down how the numbers so how the series is first here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 this is the sequence this sequence will continues the first one is 1 according to the series the first one is 1 the next one is if you multiply with 3 so then you will get 3 multiply with 3 in the first one if you add plus 3 plus 3 here plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 if you add plus 3 then you are getting the next term so here in the next second example so if you are adding plus 5 then you are getting next consecutive term plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 here in the sequence so if we multiply now if multiply 3 3 is a 9 means into 3 3 3 is a 9 so again 9 3 is a 27 where is 27 here we have till 25 only so just to mark like this so multiply with 3 9 3 is a 27 means so on it continues so after 25 after 25 27 will come so wherever 27 will come there we keep a arrow there okay now if you are multiplying so with 3 then you are getting the consecutive terms so it the series will continues like this means how the series will continues so if you are multiplying so with 3 then the next term will come next term will come here so to which number we should multiply 3 so here that common so this is called common ratio so whatever the term whatever the number we are multiplying so that is called common ratio common what is common ratio here common ratio here common ratio is 3 so why common ratio is 3 so we are multiplying with 3 so whatever number we are multiplying with that previous number so that number is called common ratio that number is called common ratio okay students this is about the common ratio and this is about the sequence common difference sequence common difference sequence so whatever the question is given first we should think either we are adding or we are subtracting or we are multiplying just first we should concentrate on the series and after that you decide so which term will come which numeral will come after that okay so now the students see here in example one so we are adding plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so then what it is called so this plus 3 is called common difference common common difference here the common difference is 3 why here the common difference is 3 every consecutive number so 3 3 3 will increasing so that means 3 is a common difference here here what is the common difference here common difference is 5 why here common difference is 5 every consecutive number the difference is 5 so that that's what here the common difference is 5 in the second example common difference common difference here 5 here it is a common ratio here the ratio why it is ratio here we are multiplying so that's what here the common ratio why here the common difference for every consecutive number the difference is 5 so that is the common difference okay